There was one crucial person missing today when the president met with his national security team to chart the way forward in Afghanistan. Richard Holbrook, who died last night at the age of 69, marking the end of a legendary four-decade career as a U.S. diplomat. He is simply uh, one of the giants of American foreign policy. As the president's special envoy to Afghanistan and Pakistan, Holbrook traveled to the region constantly, often working around the clock, a schedule so hectic a cardiologist warned him to slow down, but he did not. Friday, during a meeting that included Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, Holbrook collapsed after suffering a tear in his aorta, a major vessel that pumps blood from the heart, a condition that can cause major internal bleeding. But even as Holbrook was being rushed into surgery, he couldn't stop thinking about the war. The medical team said, uh, you've got to relax. And Richard said, I can't relax. I've, I've got, I'm worried about uh, Afghanistan and Pakistan. The team of surgeons led by a Pakistani then joked that if Holbrook would relax, they'd deal with Afghanistan. Holbrook joked that if so, they need to make sure they end the war. Holbrook's diplomatic career began in Vietnam. He served four Democratic presidents. The word that keeps being said over and over again is statesman. His greatest achievement came in 1995 when he led negotiations to end the war in Bosnia using an aggressive style that earned him the nickname the bulldozer. We have to go see President Zbigniewicz. We got a very tight time schedule. He had hoped a similar approach would work in Afghanistan, but he has clashed repeatedly with President Karzai in a conflict that makes Bosnia look easy by comparison. It's going to be a long difficult struggle. For now, Holbrook's deputy will step into the job, but the White House admits it leaves a void in the president's Afghanistan strategy because finding someone with the stature and toughness of Richard Holbrook could well be impossible. Katie? Chip Reed at the White House. Chip, thank you.